I think craft, the craft beer revolution in Ireland is insane. Welcome to the A Midlife Traveler podcast, where we want you to go see the world, discover interesting stories about people, places, and practical advice to help you plan your next vacation. Hey, hello, everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in to the A Midlife Traveler podcast, where we are exploring travel destinations through the voices and stories and opinions of locals who live there or travelers who have been there. Today's episode is a great one for any beer enthusiast. We are going to be talking about the mega trend of craft brewing and craft beer in Ireland and If you listened to the last episode, you would have heard local Irishmen Pat and Stephen as they described what happened when the Lane Cafe bar in downtown Killarney, Ireland switched out their iconic Guinness tap handle in the bar to the local brew Killarney Stout. And it was a really good story. If you haven't heard it yet, I hope you go back and listen to it because let's be honest, all of the Irish locals did not take that very well. But today... And you're going to again hear from Pat as he talks a bit more about what he calls the massive movement of craft beer in Ireland in general. And then he talks a bit more about the craft brews that they have in the Lane Cafe Bar, Torque Brewing Company, Nine White Deer, and of course Killarney Brewing Company, in addition to two craft cider companies, Cronin's and Stonewall quick note that while I was there in Killarney, I also had opportunity to try two other microbrews that I really, really enjoyed that were not local to Killarney. I just want to give a shout out to Crean Brewing in Dingle and their Expedition Ale. It was absolutely delicious. And also 8 Degrees Brewing Company out of Cork. I tried their Sunburnt Irish Red Ale, I believe is what it was, and it was delicious as well. So we are talking with Patrick McGrath, who is the resident manager of the Ross Hotel, right centrally located in downtown Killarney, Ireland. And there's a little bit of background noise because there apparently is a party going on down below us. There's no apparently about it. There is a party going on downstairs. (laughs) There's some serious music happening. Yeah, some good fun. What's trending? What's hip? What's what's cool in Killarney? Um... In Killarney, we have a huge American clientele, you know, like for tourism, like our peak season is from March until the end of October. When someone that isn't Irish comes to Ireland, they're thinking whiskey, they're thinking whiskey. Uh, What we try to do is we get them to look at what's local and what's craft and what's different and craft beer is massive at the moment too. Is it? Absolutely. You're speaking to my heart. So I'm from Seattle and craft beer is, that's our thing. Pacific Northwest of the United States is leading that movement. That's oh, yeah? important. Yeah, yeah, big Fair time. Um, we've got two local breweries in Clarny. We've got Clarny Brewery Company and we've got Torque Brewing. Torque Brewing is out the Cork Road. It's about five miles outside. But um, they're actually about six months older than Clarny Brewing Company. But Clarny Brewery Company being in the town and doing tours was probably more popular and more well known. To be honest, the beers that we carry are as local uh, is as local as you can get. So we don't stock a huge range of craft beer. But we stock the two Clarny beers, which is Clarny Brewing Company and Torque. We stock a brewery called uh, it's it's called Nine White Deer. So the beers are all named after stags: Stag Bon, which is white; Stag Ru, which is red; Stag Fia, which is free, which is a gluten-free beer. And that's on the Cork Kerry border in a town called Ballyvorna. And then we stock one. We stock two, excuse me, craft ciders. One is made in North Kerry and one is made in Kinsale and County Cork. What are those names? There were two ciders Cronin's last night. Uh, Stonewall. Actually, I met John Cronin last night. Did you meet John Cronin? Yeah. Lovely he, man. Yeah, he's great. So one of the things that, that someone told me was the palate for beer, the Irish palate, has typically been more ales in a creamy style. And so introducing some of these craft beers where you maybe have this Pilsner, you have an IPA, it's a bit more bitter, that it's it's a little bit of a slow road. About three years ago, I remember I was talking to a lady and she owns a bar up in the West Ireland in Roscommon where I'm from, and she was like, oh, craft beer, it's a waste of time. Sure, to, you know, it's, people aren't going to drink that at all. But again, as you, 
as you mature your palate will mature and you'll develop more of a okay i'm drinking smithix all my life and it's amazing uh i'd like to try this and you have a pint and you're like well it's nice but it's a bit stronger like you know and you, you'll develop from there and where it goes and what works with it hmm. it's um i think craft the craft beer revolution in ireland is insane i like again not from your from yourself in seattle like we're probably about 20 years behind from a, from a craft beer point of view. So can I tell you the future? Yes. The future is everybody makes their own. I love it. There's just stores. You just go in and you're like, oh, what do you like? Oh, do you like Guinness? Do you like Murphy's? Do you like whatever? And you, you get the recipe and you go on the shelf and you grab the malt and you grab the yeast and you grab the barley and you go home and you got the pots and you eat later. You got a keg of beer or you bottle your own beer. Brewing yeast is very hard to get in Ireland. Oh, really? You need a license. What kind of a license? You need a brewer's license. Or, a, or a, a commercial license that you're working with a business to get commercial proper brewing alcohol yeast. Well, if you can get around that, well, then the again, future. Well, <laughs> again, my father told me many years ago, it's not what you know, it's who you know. Yeah, right. So you can always get your hands on something if you really want it. Right, right, right. Your father sounds like a wise man. Ah, he's good crack. Yeah. <laughs> So thanks for listening to the Midlife Traveler podcast. If you're looking for any of the resources that were mentioned in today's episode, please go online to our website at amidlifetraveler.com. Also, we'd really appreciate it if you subscribe, rate, and review us online at iTunes and uh, just send us a note. Tell us what you think about the podcast. We would really appreciate it. Thanks.